Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine. Welcome to NIFS Home School. This is Kamal Nahar, Assistant Teacher of English, National Ideal English Version School, Deshi. My dear students of class 3, today I am going to take your Bangladesh and Global, I mean global Studies class. And our today's topic is Chapter 3. And the name of this chapter is Our Rights and Responsibilities. So all of you can take your Bangladesh and Global Studies books and go to page 16. So let's start our class today. So chapter 3, Our Rights and Responsibilities. So this is the first lesson uh, from the chapter our rights in society now we will know about the our rights in the society so what is our right in a society everyone has the right to live so this is our right to live and this is why some right must be fulfilled we need food clothes education housing health care and safety to make our life better so now look how many rights are there food clothes education housing health care and safety so in total there are six rights so there are uh, these are our six basic rights so these rights are called basic rights that means uh, society will give you those rights i mean we need uh, we need those rights uh, to uh, live in a society you can now look you can underline food clothes education housing healthcare and safety and these are our six basic rights so these rights are called basic rights and what do you think which one is most important among the six rights yes i know all of you know uh, food is the most important of them all because uh, without food we will not survive we will die very soon then the other rights will come if we survive so now look there is a picture our rights the right to clothes the right uh, sorry, the right to food, the right to clothes, the right to a home, the right to health uh, care, the right to safety, the right to education. Now we will go to next page. Uh, we will do, uh, I mean, uh, section D. Now look, fill in the blanks with appropriate words. So we will fill up those blanks with appropriate words. We have dash basic rights in our society. So how many rights are there? This is, yes, we have read there. There are six basic rights. So we will write here six. Now, the most important of uh, them all is, which one is the most important? Yes, food is the most important. So, we will write here, food. Now, we will go to lesson 2 from this chapter. Uh, this is our next topic, our rights as a children. So, all of you were children and you have some special right as a children, uh, except those uh, I mean, uh, basic rights. So what are they? As children, we have some special rights. These include the right to birth registration, the right to a name, the right to be loved and get affection, the right to nutrition and health care, the right to play and rest, the right to education, the right for girls and boys to have equal treatment. So these are your rights as a children. And I mean, these are special rights. Now look, those are special rights rights and how many rights are there now look one two three four five six seven there are seven rights and those are important for you so all of you will uh, know about your special rights as a children so and what are they the right to birth registration the right to a name the right to be loved and get affection the right to nutrition and health care the right to play and rest the right to education the right for girls and boys to have equal treatment that means there will, uh, will uh, not be any gender discrimination the boys and the girls will be treated equally in the family in the society so these are the rights of every child in the world these rights make sure you will grow up healthy intelligent and with opportunities in life so why do you need those rights to grow up healthy intelligent and with opportunities in life so these are the rights for the children in the world i mean every children in the world and we need this right to grow up healthy intelligent uh, intelligent and with uh, opportunities in life so it is the duty of the family now uh, you can ask who will feel, uh, you know, fulfill those duties so it is the duty of the family society and the state to fulfill these rights of the children so your family 
society and the state will fulfill these rights of the children. International Children's Day is observed every year on the first Monday of October. And uh, to concern about the children's rights every year, International Children's Day is observed on the first Monday of October. Now look, there is a picture, a nice picture, the right to play. So you have the right to play. But you will not play for the whole day. This is not your right. So we, I mean, you will be given time uh, to play and you will be also given time to take rest and you will also study and you will do other work, right? Now we will go to next page, page number 19. Now there is a uh, chair, uh, chair uh, there is a box, my right as a children in my family. So all of you will uh, write about the right. We, ha uh, we have learned about our rights and now we will go to section D. Take the right answer. Which one is a children's right? Which one? Let's find it out. Number A, birth registration. Number B, following rules. Number C, respecting elders. Number D, looking after the sick. I know all of you know the answer. It will be number A, the birth registration. Now we will go to lesson 3. Our responsibilities as children. As we have rights, so we also have responsibilities towards our family. Here are some of them. Now look, there is a box. This is our duty to our family. So as a children, we have some rights. We have some special rights. Now look, those are seven special rights as a children uh, of every, uh, I mean, uh, for the every uh, child in the world. And as a child, you have some responsibilities towards your family. So there are some of them. What are they? Follow family rules. Respect parents and elders. Look after the sick members of our family help parents and other members of the family in their work respect elder siblings siblings mean brother and sister and look after younger ones so if you have young uh, uh, i mean young brother or sister younger brother or sister all of you will uh, take care of them you will look after them so you will follow the family rules every family has some rules uh, some norms you must uh, follow those rules and respect parents and elders so all of you will listen to your parents you will respect your parents and the other elder members of your family and you will uh, look after the sick members of your family uh, as much uh, as possible for you and help parents and other members of the family in their work now look there is a picture the children are helping their family members that means their parents or father or the other family members now look those kids are helping uh, in i mean helping their family members now they are planting trees they help their mother or the family members to plant the trees now look there is another picture they are doing the household works i mean they help their father here there is another one so all of you will uh, do some uh, works in your family to help your parents and the other family members and we should do our duties to the family then we can enjoy our rights so when we can enjoy our rights after doing our duty now look after doing your duties you can enjoy your rights so at first we will do our duty then we will enjoy our right now we will go to uh, i mean section b now look in pairs write these in the correct column so there are uh, there are two columns rights and responsibilities so look we will uh, put those uh, phrases in the right column first one looking after your younger siblings so what is it rights or responsibilities it is your responsibilities having clothes it is your right going to school it is your right and washing one's own clothes this is your responsibility all of you will try to uh, wash your clothes now we will go to section d tick the right answer which is our responsibility to our family okay let's read option a to play option b to follow family rules option c to study option d birth registration so which one which one is responsibility i mean responsibility to our family uh, i know all of you know the answer it will be option b to follow family rules my dear students now we will go to true false for uh, you know from this chapter so we will uh, do four true false from this chapter and it will be your homework also now look our rights and responsibilities true false the first one we should not follow family rules is it true or false so what do you think uh, should we follow the family rules or not yes of course we should follow the family rules so what is it in there we should not follow family rules so this statement is not true so it will be false 
Now number B. International Children's Day is observed on the first Monday of October. So what we have read? Now look here, page number 18. It is given here. International Children's Day is observed every year on the first Monday of October. So it will be true. This statement is true. Number B will be true. Now number C. It is the duty of the family, society and the state to fulfill children's rights. Is it true or false, my dear students? Okay, let's read. Now look, page number 18. It is the duty of the family, society and the state to fulfill these rights to the children. So, family, society and the state will come forward to fulfill the children's rights. So, this statement is true. Now, number D. Girls and boys should not be treated equally. So, what do you think? Is it true or false? Uh, yes, of course, it will be false because we know that this is our right. Now, look, the right page number 18 the right for girls and boys to have equal treatment so girls and boys should be treated equally so this estimate will be false so there are four true false all of you will do it as your homework this is homework number seven from chapter three true false this four true false okay let's read again we should not follow family rules false number b international children's day is observed on the first month of october true Number C, it is the duty of the family, society and the state to fulfill children's rights. True. Number D, girls and boys should not be treated equally. It is false. So dear students, this is homework number 7. All of you will do your homework and don't forget to mention the homework number and the date. And today's date is 25-21. So all of you will I mean, uh, write the date in your HW copy. So dear students, that's all for today. I hope you have understood about today's topic. All of you will study regularly and listen to your parents. See you again. Allah Hafiz.